This video describes some of the patient management options available with your Medmon E300 corneal topographer. To create a new patient, go up to Home and New. Then enter in your patient information, last name, first name. Use the tab keys to scroll through the different categories or the shift tab key to go backwards. In the date of birth, use the arrow keys to go from day, month, year. You can use your number keys to enter in the appropriate day, month, and year. Or use the pull down calendar and scroll through to find the correct month and click on the day. You can go to the clinical tab and select any procedures or conditions this patient may have had. That way you can filter at a future point all the patients with, as an example, keratoconus or all the patients who have had orthokeratology or all the patients who have had corneal transplant. At the bottom you'll see an area for the Rx. Here you can enter in the patient's Rx and whenever you pull up a new contact lens it will automatically populate in the contact lens software. That way you don't have to enter the Rx numerous times each time you create a new contact lens. Under comments, you can enter in any information specific to this particular patient. Then once you're satisfied, you can click save. If you need to find a patient, click on this pull down arrow to pull up all the recent topographies that you may have taken or analyzed. Or you can go up to filter to find a patient who is imaged or analyzed a long period ago. Enter in the complete patient name and click search. Or if you only know the first few characters, enter in those characters followed by an asterisk and do a search. It will look for all the patients and begin with those specific characters. If you'd like to do a filter and only show one particular patient, select from this pull down menu one and it highlights and allows viewing of only that one particular patient. If you'd like to do a filter to search for all the patients with specific procedures or conditions, you can do that here. If you want to go back and show all of your database, click on the pull down men menu and all. If you do orthokeratology as an example, you may find it beneficial to highlight a specific topography. For instance, if we look at these four topographies and want to choose our best baseline, our map that we will reference at all future visits, we may want to choose the best topography and label it as being the most appropriate or best baseline. Once you've highlighted that topography, right click and select from the categories baseline. That way you see this little label affixed whenever this patient visits again, one week from now, one month from now, one year from now, we know that we're going to use this as our best baseline topography. Then we select the post treatment and our subtractive map and we'll have the best possible subtractive map analysis. If we would like to export these maps and send them off to our lab or a consultant for assistance, highlight all the maps you want to send, make sure they're converted from the photo to a colorized topography. In other words, if your topographies have not been converted to a colorized map, the recipient will not be able to open them. If you have more than four maps to send, make sure any additional maps that you want to export, you've converted to a colorized image. Then you can highlight them all together, go up to File and Export. Then save that file somewhere like the desktop where it's easily found. Save it as the patient name. Then under Save as Type, use a dot mxf file for most topographies you want to export. If you need to make a slightly smaller file then use the .mcf file. 
Typically, you'll save it as a .mxf. When you're satisfied, click Save, then go to your email software, attach that export file, and email it off. And your recipient, if they have the Medmont software running, can import and open up those patient files and have the full analysis functionality that you have from your Medmont. If, however, you're sending the topographies to somebody without the Medmont software, such as a patient, you could highlight the maps you want to send up to four, then go up to File and Print Preview. Click OK. Then it creates an image of the file it's going to create. Go back to File, save it somewhere you can find it. You can save it as the patient name again. Then under Save as Type, you have the option to save it as a PDF, a JPEG, a GIF, or a BMP. Then again, once that file is created, you can go to your email software, attach it, and email it off or copy it to a flash drive.